191. Calculate these volumes. Then we have A and B. So let me just quickly write A over here and B over here. And now let's get down to A. So A, it says, what is the volume of 25 grams of iodine with the density of 4.93 grams per centimeter cubed? Okay, so the question is, what is the volume? So we don't know what the volume is. Volume is a question mark. And they gave us a unit in G, which is grams. Just know that grams is always a mass. No exceptions, 100%. Mass will be in grams or any denomination of that, whether it's, you know, kilograms, the SI units. So we have a mass of 25 grams and they gave us the density. So density is 4.93 grams per centimeter cubed. So it looks like we got density, we got mass, we got to solve for a volume. So this is a straight density formula question, D equals M over V. Remember, the hardest part for your density uh, calculations is knowing the correct units. So in this case, they gave us gram per centimeter cubed. So if this is gram per centimeter cubed, that means that the mass has to be in grams because the G in the density unit for mass and the G for mass has to link up. And if that's the case, centimeter cubed for the volume unit for density has to be the same. So this has to be centimeter cubed. So it looks like our masses match up because I have grams here and I have grams here. So we're ready to go. So let's write it down. D equals M over V. Density was 4.93 equals the mass was 25 over x. <clears throat> and now we have a simple cross multiplication because I technically have two ratios. So the 4.93 times x is equal to 25 times 1 because remember this is over 1. But as you guys get more familiar and you spe especially learn this in algebra, so it should be coming back. So I'll just put it over here. We got 4.93. 93x equals 25. Get x by itself, so you will divide by 4.93 on both sides. That cancels out 4.93 over here. And now we're left with x, which is the volume. And let's put it into calc. 25 divided by 4.93. I get a long trailing decimal, so I will say 5.07099. But now we just need to play the sig fig game. This is division, so it's the lowest number total for sig figs. In 25, there was two sig figs. In 4.93, there were three sig figs. If you don't know how to do sig figs, go back to uh, probably questions like 10 around there on the playlist for chapter one. So two is the lowest number, so I need just two sig figs. So the five and the zero but the seven will bounce the zero up to a one. So now we have 5.1 as my volume, but we need units and we check the density unit for the volume. They gave it to me in centimeters cubed. So that's what I'm gonna follow up with, centimeters cubed. So there is your volume for the first one, 5.1 centimeters cubed, check that off. That's the answer to part A. Now let's go to B. What is the volume of 3.28 grams of a gaseous hydrogen density equals 0 0.089 grams per liter? So let's write it down. They gave us a G. I know that that's a mass. So mass equals 3.28 grams. They gave us a density. So that's a D, right? Density equals 0 0.089 grams per liter. And they're looking for the volume. Volume equals question mark. So straight formula again, D equals M over V. Just make sure that your units match. And they gave me grams for my mass and grams as the mass unit for density. So we're good to go. So let's plug it in. 0 0.089 equals 3.28 over X. Cross multiply again. This equals this, you'll times them right. So it would be 0 0.089 times x equals 
3.28, get x by itself, you divide by 0 0.089, and that cancels out. And now I'll just put x over here. x, which equals the volume, is, and before we do this, let's just play the sig fig game. 3.28, there were three sig figs here. This one on the bottom, there's only two, because leading zeros, these two zeros do not count for significant figures. So you always take the lowest number, which is two sig figs. So my answer when I do the division has to have two sig figs. So 3.28 divided by 0 0.089. And that's, we'll say 36.8. Thirty-six point eight, but the eight will round the six up to a seven, so you will get thirty-seven. And now we just got to finish with the correct units. In the density formula, the units for volume was a liter, so this would be liter. Box that answer off. That is your answer. Check off part B. We like to check off everything. Sometimes I miss it, and I'm like, ah, it's right. I should have checked it off. But anyway, yeah. So these are your two answers. They didn't say to, um, you know, convert this one into milliliters, but if you want to, you can. So I'll leave that one up to you guys. You guys should know how to do that. But anyway, I will see you guys all in the next question. Thanks so much for joining me. Um, if this helped you, click that like button. Tell us about it. And if you want to know when we drop our next couple of questions, and we drop like a lot at a time, just hit that subscribe button. Then you'll always be in the know. But thank you so much, guys. I'll see you all in number 92. See you then.